Welcome back everyone. Today we're gonna do just kind of a quick range review on this holster right here. I've had this one in for a while, which is why it looks all beat up. Um, that's just good, honest use. And this is the Blackhawk T-Series. This is the level two. I believe they make a level three as well in terms of retention. And uh, this one here is for the Streamlight TLR two or one. Uh, either one of those lights will work with the retention system here on this uh, particular holster. On the back, it has all different options in terms of how you want to mount it. This one, we have a little bit of a drop to it, which I do like personally. And uh, they have higher rise ones, all of those sorts of things. They also make ones that don't uh, index with the light. So if you have a gun that you don't carry with a weapon light, you can get that as well. Um, but the beauty of this system, unlike let's say the Serpa, is that the there's no button up here to push. Um, which could accidentally cause your finger to be in the wrong place and you don't want it to be. The retention itself is here on the inside and it uses the master grip principle, right? So the master grip, of course, the foundation of your grip is getting high up on the back tang on the pistol. So as soon as I am in that position, my thumb is automatically on the retention uh, release button. So I'm just gonna squeeze. As soon as I grab my grip, it's gonna come right out. Uh, zero issues there at all. But again, if I don't push it, it ain't coming out. And I've seen guys hang from trees on this thing. Um, and literally, that's, that's not being hyperbolic. Um, and it was 100% fine, didn't lose retention. So in terms of durability, it's pretty impressive right now. We have it, of course, in a Glock 35. So it's a long slide there. And you guys can see it's just barely protruding out there. And I should also point out, we have night vision sights on there, which are suppressor height. And it still fits in there just fine. So any type of sight system that you're going to use um, is going to work in there. Particularly, we, or rather, I should say, in general, probably the most we've used it with has been the Ameriglow Hackathorns on my Glock 22. And uh, obviously that wouldn't protrude out here at all at the end, but the 35's a long gun. But I can take this light and throw it on a completely different gun. So this is the TLR2 HL just for what it's worth. And we're going to throw it here. I don't know if it'll fit. Yeah, it will. With the rail insert on there. We're going to throw it here on my M&P. Ah, it's not going to work because I have an optic on it. But regardless, if it didn't have an optic on it, I assure you it would work in there and it would uh, maintain retention. That's the kind of high quality programming you get around here, guys. But without the optic, it would work. And um, I should mention pricing on these because obviously everybody wants to know that. Um, this particular model here with the level two retention, thumb retention, and uh, this particular belt that's going to come in, belt uh, attachment point, is going to come in right around $120-ish. Um, if you get one that doesn't have a light system on it, it cuts the cost dramatically, like by like 40 or 50 bucks off of that. They have a universal mounting type of system here, so they make chest rig mounts for it if you want to go that route if you want to go drop leg um, all of those sorts of things you can do that and you can see here on this particular one you also have the ability to adjust cant height all of those types of options but I mean I've used this a ton I've never had any issues with dirt and grime getting in there and if you guys watch my prone shooting that I do a lot here on the channel you'll know there's dirt and grime all over my shooting area flying up in the air getting in the mechanism had no issues with it so uh, I'm a fan I'm likely going to order different models of it um, because I really do like the system. I like having some sort of retention. I don't really open carry in public, but you know, when I hear the range, obviously I do. And then let's say I just stop at a gas station or something like that on the way home uh, where I live, it's perfectly legal to open carry. Um, so I like that retention aspect. It just get, makes me feel a little bit uh, more secure. Uh, have, when I'm open carrying, which again, I really don't intentionally do, but every now and then I'll stop it and get some bananas or something like that. And having the retention is a bonus for me, but it's also super ergonomic and you really don't take, it really doesn't take rather a ton of training um, to get yourself uh, where you're not gonna freak out and under stress and not be able to release it. Because again, it's just normal master grip, you're going, your thumb is going to go right there on that pistol and that's gonna release the retention. So that's it guys, quick, video. I do like the product. Again, we've used it for a long time and it's been very, very solid. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, following, depending on where you're watching this, liking, depending on, again, social media platform, but I appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video.